Hello, we're here in Tulsa, Oklahoma. We're looking at a Speed Queen uh, dryer. Looks like commercial heavy duty. Um, it won't heat. It's a customer complaint. First thing I want to do is uh, confirm the complaint. We're going to go ahead and uh, start the dryer. We'll go ahead and start the dryer, push the handle. We're just going to give it a let it run here for a minute or so. So that's about long enough. Um, just reach in. No, it's cold. All right. Now that that's done, what we're going to do, we've got to get behind here, behind your outlet, and you got to do a, a voltage check, which I've done that a few times, so I'm not going to bother to do that on camera this time. Timer. I want to see when I run it around. It feels like there's a catch in it. It feels weird. No, out of normal. So I'm gonna go and start. I think that's the first place I'm gonna go run to on this one. On the back wall. I'm mean back behind it right here. Got some screws. Go ahead and hit those first. Looks like there's a. Uh, Okay, you got one there, one there, and one there. So don't you have to don't take them all out. Just that one, that one, that one, and it'll fold towards you. But the good thing is right there, your schematic. All right. Sorry, I'm trying to be not shaky as possible here. Okay, so here's the schematic. Um, if I'm right, we're not going to have power to L1 on the fabric selector. So right there, this is A coming off H. We won't have power going to that. So we're gonna test that to ground. Let's see if we get 120 volts. All right. This one wire goes all the way across right there. That's the dude. So test that to ground. Okay. So what I went ahead and did, I tested them from L1 on that, and I have voltage. And I also have voltage going on to uh, the blue wire, which is number two, when it's selected on the high heat setting. So um, that means it's going to be more directly like either in the motor, which I doubt that, uh, or it's um, going to be that thermal fuse with the actual element itself. All right. So let's find out. So at this point, we put the top back together. Now we gotta start pulling the bottom panel here. There's one screw there, one screw there. Those are five sixteenths. Now the ones on the top were a uh, quarter inch. Well, here's the heating element. Um, right there on the right is your thermal fuse. Um, the top there is uh, the one leg of the element. The, the very bottom is the, the other leg of the element. Right there in the center is your high limit thermostat. Um, what I'm first gonna do is I'm gonna test through the thing on the right. That's gotta have continuity for the element to work. I'm gonna test that first. If I have continuity, then I'm gonna test the element itself. Uh, both of those should have continuity. Uh, the thermostat I doubt has a problem uh, unless the, thermos, the thermal fuse is blown then that means it's uh, not controlling the element like it's supposed to. Um, now I have to tell you on this model that sorry, I have to tell you on this model if we get to this point and one of these are bad you replace the whole element as a kit. Uh, what happens is, is one of those points will get, um, you get a little bit, I don't know how to explain it. They, I, I had one that I, I replaced, like, I don't know, I put like, um, I don't know, like four or five different, uh, thermal kits on it and it would just would not fix it. I'd be back in three to six months every time. Uh, so what I had to do is I had to replace the element and, but they come as a kit with the thermostats and all. So I learned then that you don't 
replace just the thermals. You replace the element and all. It, it, it's just it's it's wise. It's wise knowledge there. It's 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 um oh experience. Uh, that's an experience lesson, and I just want to tell you up front: just replace the whole element kit. Don't just do your thermals, okay? Um, so let's let's find out what's wrong with it. Now I just remembered on this one, you can actually just take loose your element there, that screw there, that screw there, the five sixteenths. If you just take loose the element itself, um, it's pretty easy to just go ahead and pull this on out. Um, you got like one harness clamp. You just take that loose, and you can pull this thing out and I'll look at it in the open. Make sure you have the dryer unplugged. <laughs> Don't do this and try to, and, you know, because you're just pulling up everything, you know. It'll be a bad deal. Don't do that. Uh, but make sure you have it unplugged. Um, yeah, but that's what I'm going to do, and we'll come back. got it out um, now I did not test my element yet I went ahead and tested this before I took took it apart I just figured at this point I'm gonna have to pull it regardless just pull it which you didn't have to test that to find, to find out if you you know what I mean if you get to the point of your element you might as well just pull off your element and here we go where was it there it is there's the brick and element. So, we're gonna put the element kit on it. Uh, let's see if we can get a hold of one and get it done today. All right, YouTube, we're back here. Um, I went ahead and, so that's a new one. Went ahead and put it together. Um, now you can use what I'm showing you here. If that's a blue wire, that's a black wire, orange, uh, black, that one's black. Um, uh, what you can do here is you can either use what I'm showing you here as your, you know, what your wiring is. But I, what I would do, so before you took apart yours, because this changes from model to model, the, the, the wiring of how this element's wired changes from model to model. So what you want to do is, is take a picture of yours before you take it apart. Um, it can get confusing. Um, you got instructions that come with the element that are misleading to what is to your model. Uh, so the, 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 the short answer is is take a picture of stuff before you take it apart and then you won't have no issues. Um, so uh, now you got you got your manuscripts there, 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 there for your that, that's your thermal fuse, that's your therm, uh, thermostat, your high limit thermostat. Um, and that's your element connections. Um, uh, I don't know what else I could say here. All right there's your mining screws, screw holes. Right there's a spot where it will catch on the back wall and hold it in place while you put where you can put your screws in. Uh, so you make sure you pay attention to that. You'll slide it up in the back there and you kind of can hang it on that spot. Most on most dryers. Um, I didn't see it in the first one. Maybe it's not on this one, but most dryers has a little spot where it'll hang it right there. And it'll hold it for you. Um, yeah, it's on the original. There it is. But, uh, but that'll, that'll hold that element in place for you while you put your grab your screws and put it on. So you'll be able to slide it up there and then grab a screw. Um, oh, what is there else does it say here? Um, all right, then let's get busy. I'm going to put it back there. Alright, I can't show it. Well, this one was a tight fit again. You can 
see how it's hung on that side here. Right there. That holds it in place. Now you can sneak the screw up in there. All right, we got it back together on the back panel there. Um, I wanted to tell you to watch out for the wiring. Um, make sure it's out of the way of the wheel there. Uh, you don't really want to have it sitting on top of each other either. Make sure your wires stay separated out like that. Um, put your little clip back on the floor there. Um, where you just got your two screws on the back panel. Um, that's about it there, that looks good. Now this back, this bottom panel kind of folds in and out to hang. Then also you gotta line up your, your uh, little pins here. Two little pins, you have to line that up. And there it goes in. On this model, most of them don't have that. Uh, and just put your screws back in the two at the bottom start your dryer back up just let it run see if we can get some heat all right set your dryer on the highest heat possible time dry let's see if we get heat i mean i know you can't feel that but we got warmth An abundance of it so this dryer is working and um thank you youtube um, if you're in the Tulsa area, don't feel like you want to do this yourself, feel free to call me out, 918-951-6001. Um, and um, good luck on everybody's endeavors. And um, Thanks. Bye.